Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Moat and Talk in Common to make audio notes in Google Apps. Uh, specifically I'll be showing you in Google Docs in Google Classroom. So first thing when you're in Google Docs, uh, let's do Moat. We just have to highlight what it is that we want to comment on. We can choose the Add Comment button. And with Moat, you can see that it automatically adds right in here. So when I click to record, I can start talking and talking and talking. And I have a 30 second limit because I have the free trial. But when I am done, I simply have to click comment. And then the audio recording will show up right there and it will tell you how long it is. Now, I'm not going to play it back right now because you guys just heard it. And I don't have speakers on this computer, so I only have a headset. So Thankfully, you won't have to hear me one more time saying testing. Well, you will for three more takes. But as you can see with Moat, it is very easy to add a comment. Now, with Talk and Comment, it is a little similar, but also a little bit different. So it is different in the sense that, like Moat, you don't see it right here, but instead you see it off to the side. And I don't know if you noticed that, but it's kind of hidden in the browser, floating to the right side of my screen. And when I click on the button, I can start talking and talking and talking. And when I am done, the big difference is that I have to actually copy this and then paste it into the comment box. So in some ways, it's not quite as uh, easy as Mo because it's not embedded in, but it still shows up just the same and you can play it just the same as well. Now, you can do this also in Google Classroom. So if I come over to classroom and pick one of my classes that I want to work with, I can come in and let's just go to this comment right here. I can add a comment with moat. So we'll do moat again. You can see it's embedded right here and I can click to record. I can start talking and talking. And when I click done, I can send that comment in. It takes a second, but that play button will pop up now. I still have that ability with talk and comment. I just come over to the right side of my browser, click the talk and comment button and start talking and talking and talking. When I'm done, I click the check mark. I copy the comment and paste it into the comment section. It takes a moment for it, this one to actually show up with the play button, but it will show up in just a second. So we can see modes showed up right there. It took several moments for the talk and comment one to show up the other day. If it doesn't show up right away, I promise it will at some point, but let me try refreshing my page real quick to see if maybe that will trigger it. All right, so it hasn't quite yet. Oh, there we go. And now you can see the play button is there and I can start playing that one in the comment section as well. So as you can see, they do very much the same thing. It's just that they're set up in different ways. In the blog post, I will go over a couple of the um, benefits and differences of each and the price plans as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at any time.